Hi friends, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and welcome to a layout that I've created for UK Scrap Addicts. So um, every month we change the theme that we scrap to and this month it is fussy cutting. So I pulled out some pattern papers from the Maggie Holmes carousel collection, uh, which is one from the year before last I think. And I just went to town on that paper of all of those little labels. So I spared you the boredom of watching me fussy cut all of those out. I did use my trimmer for some of them. And I'm going to create a cascade of um, labels underneath my photo. So I've cut the labels um, or some of the labels ready. And then I also had this off cut of pattern paper as well. And it's all circus themed and so I cut out a few of those to add in, um, in in with the labels as well just to give it a bit of interest so I'm just doing that now and yeah I just sort of build it all up at the bottom of um, underneath the photo not really knowing where I'm going with this or what I'm doing but um, I do like to cluster um, a whole load of labels together it's one of my favorite things to do and it gets a ton used up as well so I decided that I wanted some <clears throat> I wanted something on the edges um, I didn't want a doodly border and I thought I'd just add in uh, something that I do occasionally which is just a um, torn edge and then backed it with some pattern paper so the paper I'm using here is also from carousel it's a black with a little uh, white hollow heart so I'm going to use that on the right and the left and just cutting off, off a strip of that to go on the back as well <clears throat> I'm pleased to report that me and my ATG are currently on speaking terms so it makes an appearance in this video we haven't been seeing to eye to eye on many occasions recently and uh, it's lucky to be appearing now so who else fights with their ATG? I have more arguments with my ATG than I do my husband. That's how crazy it is. But anyway, so I'm going to use the same paper to back my photo as well. And um, that's the only layer that's going to go behind my photo because the labels are going to be very busy at the bottom of this, um, which is why I've used white cardstock as well uh, to give myself a nice clean blank base in order to um, get all of those labels, well, not all of them but a lot of the labels on. So um, I'm just going to mark off where my photo is just so I know how high I need to go up and that scribble there is going to be covered by the photograph anyway and then I just make a start on placing the labels down. So some of them I stick straight down to um, the white cardstock and um, with just with um, tape and then other ones I add in some foam to give it some dimension. So I'm going to put the video on a bit of a faster speed in just a second because the process of this was um, long and boring and I'm sure you have better things to be doing uh, than watching me stick down a ton of labels. So this is where I'm just going to speed it up a little bit now and um, don't worry, it's not too fast. And yeah, so I just start layering them up and adding in those extra uh, pieces as well from the other pattern paper sheet. So if you're watching this on the um, UK Scrap Addicts channel, then hi, welcome to the new theme this month. Um, if you didn't know, we do actually have a Facebook group, UK Scrap Addicts on Facebook, so do head over and uh, join us there. As I said, we change the theme every month, so this month is Fussy Cutting, which uh, quite a few of the team groaned at. Um, I know there's a couple on the team that don't like Fussy Cutting, I love it. And um, we set the themes uh, each month ourselves, and if you weren't aware as well, we actually give um, we actually have a free cut file every month as well. Uh, so that is released on the blog, normally on the second of the month, so if you head on over to the blog, then there is a free cut file that you can download and use for personal use. If you're watching this on my channel, then hi. Um, I'm glad to be back. And I know you've missed me. <laughs> I've had some messages from, from some of you 
uh, saying you missed my video. So I hope that this sort of whets your appetite for a little bit. I'm off on my holly bobs next week, so um, I'm going to get a few videos filmed and scheduled for you whilst I'm away until I can come back. It's been a bit difficult with um, everything that's been going on with my craft room um, and personal circumstances, so yeah, I am trying to make the, the, the best of it. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just here you can just see I'm layering those uh, labels up and I'm making sure that yellow is quite a strong colour, it's quite a mustardy yellow and it's quite a strong colour and your eye gets drawn to it automatically so I'm making sure that I have got that pop of yellow all the way across so it's on, on the left and on the right so it doesn't uh, just draw your eye into where um, one pop of it might be. And the foam that I'm using is just some cheap, uh, fun foam from Hobbycraft. I bought it in a massive pack for like £5, and I think it was 100 sheets. And I'm still going with it. I bought it last year, and it's it's still doing me well. And, yeah, just mixing and matching uh, different shaped labels, different coloured labels, making sure those colours are moving around the page. So anything that's, you know, a stronger colour, especially because there's black on there as well. Um, your eye will get drawn to that also, so I'm just making sure that that is um, spread out across the page. And then I found this on a cut apart sheet, and it's just got, I think it says Carnival, and it's got a Ferris wheel on it, so uh, that is going in beside my photo, and I'm going to come back to that later. So I'm using the um, Clear Alphas from this collection as well, and we're huge Avengers fans. Um, in my household and so I labelled this my Thor and if you're Avengers if you uh, <coughs> if you watch the Avengers if you've seen the Avengers then you'll know who Thor is and um, then yeah just some of those little tiny word stickers I can't remember what they say they, again they're all from them this is all from the carousel collection I do tend to scrapbook by collection um, <coughs> everything's so coordinated that I don't need to I don't need to worry about it and so I'm just bringing in some of these stickers and because this is all um, sort of fun fair and carnival themed it went everything went with my photo so the photograph is of my husband on one of those I don't even know what you call them you have one of those hammers and you hit the thing and the thing goes up and you have to make it ding the top to get a cuddly toy or something well um, I think we were trying to figure out what year this was, and I think it was 2003, which was the year that we met. Um, and so this photograph's just been hanging around, not really doing much. And um, so I decided that um, with this collection, that's going to be a, the perfect photo to use um, on here. So you can see um, below, all the labels have just been layered above one another. And there is dim dimension, because obviously I've got the foam on there as well. Now, I don't know if you know that we actually have a blog as well and all of the inspiration from the team, um, we have an extended team now, um, is up on the blog as well. Tons of um, ideas and um, and whatnot that you can go back and refer to at any stage. So the, the links are all down below for the, um, for the UK Scrap Addicts blog. Uh, we'd love it if you went over and took a look. Um, if you haven't subscribed to UK Scrap Addicts YouTube channel, again... Um, we've got an extended team of YouTubers um, on there as well, providing inspiration um, every month on the monthly theme. So if you're one that's not really into to fussy cutting or you want some ideas about fussy cutting, then be sure to subscribe to the uh, the um, YouTube channel. As I said, if you're watching this on my channel, then I'll leave the link down below for you to go over and check out um, our UK Scrap Addicts group. Um, or channel should I say so I'm just adding in just a few flourishes here so there's a few um, sequins like gold sequins in the collection as well and I added in a couple of little um, black stars from the sticker sheet and then I've got this other label here now I was going to put the date on it but I can't I, I have no idea what the actual date was um, this was really before you know we took pictures every day on camera phones so I don't know what the date was so um I know was, we think I think it was 2003 so I've just added those in um 2003 in with those alphas that are from the same collection 
and um, I just used a tiny bit of red line tape at the bottom to help stick those down because they're chipboard um, so they don't want to stay on there very well and I think that's it just tidying up the edges now so thank you very much for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you all next time bye